Dean Evason dismissed as head hockey coach for your Minnesota Wild. That was announced officially uh, not that long ago, confirmed by the team this afternoon. Wild have lost 13 in their last 16. Assistant coach Bob Woods, also in charge, was in charge of the defense, was also dismissed. Was in charge of the penalty kill that ranked last in the NHL. The amount of time you spend with people, they're, they're not just coaches by that time, they're friends and people I care for and, and respect. You know, I, I have a job to do and, and, and they understand that, but it doesn't, doesn't make it easier. You know, I believe when you come into this situation, everybody's hurting. It's a tough situation for the coaching staff, the training staff, particularly the players. So I think it's important to really come in and uh, connect with those guys. And I'm excited to coach this this group. I think when you look at the, the dynamic of the team, you know, their skill, their size, their speed, there's there's good goaltending. I think it's a it's a group that you can win with. Birthday yesterday. Today, happy birthday. I know you guys have, have a lot of respect for Dean and Bob, and uh, you know a lot of you guys probably have close relationships with those guys. Work. And I know that the emotions, like it's hard. It's hard to go through a coaching change. It's hard when the team's not going well. I'm sure that you guys you guys feel it more than anybody. I think you have to have respect for the, the previous coaches that were here and the job that they did, and also understand that they have personal relationships and they've had impact at the players and the staff. Letting people know that you understand that you know, it's a hard time for everybody. It's not easy. I think it's really important that if we can really work together and uh, and do some certain things and communicate really well on the fly here, I think things can really change. We were underachieving, we weren't performing. For some odd reason, we just had that bad stretch of games where we just couldn't figure it out. And unfortunately, sometimes you need a new voice and it wasn't Dean, it wasn't his fault. And he knows that. We've got great veteran players that have tremendous experience. You have youth and you have speed coming into your lineup. And having coached against you guys, this team has a clear-cut identity. Like, you guys are hard to play against. There are little things we can tweak. It's not going to be system overhauls. It's just going to be trying to get individual games back together, get our mindset the right way to come out and win some games, have you guys feel good about it, have some fun in the way that we play. And I think there'll be some small tweaks systematically that I think could be important. He's jumping in the foxhole with the guys. But you don't get out of things like that alone. You, you can't do it on your own. Like, let's go out, go out, snap the puck around, skate, get some speed, feel good, and then we'll go from that. He's not here to save the day. He is here to help and guide and, and be a part of getting this team up to a different level. So Pat, Patty's come up from Iowa. I'm sure you guys are probably familiar with him from training camp and whatnot, so I'll let you go. Let's go, boys. <laughs> Thank you. 
He wants the best out of everyone. He communicates with his players. He talks with us. He walks around the room and communicates, and I think that's a huge thing. Hearing about them and coaching against them, they're a hard team to play against. You, you understand how good of a group of players it is, how good a group of people they care, they're coachable, uh, they want to work. That's the first step of being able to be a successful team. I have a ton of respect for John. He's a very detailed guy, you know, a coach at heart. I, I, I trust him. I trust him a lot, and I just feel he's the right guy. Sunday, the Wild dropped a seventh consecutive game, and that signaled the end of the road for Dean Nevison as head coach. Yesterday, Wild general manager Bill Guerin made the decision to move at head coach. So instead of sticking out with Evison, he turns to former Devils and Predators head coach John Hines, and he becomes the seventh head coach in franchise history. Today, it was announced that Patrick Dwyer will be elevated from Iowa to work the bench with Hines on the big club. There is emotions involving all this, so you kind of have to put all those distractions aside as much as you can and just focus on the task that you have to do on the ice. Yeah, it's go time. Let's not fear the end result. It's just process. Speed, conviction, and attitude. Let's go out. Play your game, do what you guys do the best. Let's do it for each other. Let's have some fun. Let's get a great start here, man. And I got, I got on the pre scout for a lineup. The pre scout is Zuki, does the top shelf. Hey, hey, hey. I asked, I said, who's the guy that does the lineup that you guys think brings the most life to the room? And they were right away, they said, Zuki's been really good at it. So, And he didn't let us down. He was great. been time to, to kind of turn that page and get out of that hole and it was just a matter of, of one of those games where things were going to go our way and play fast with the puck and, and it went in the net. Ricochet free Parenko a shot and he scores. Colton Parenko beats Gustafson. It had been a tough start of the season for me. I think everybody puts it on their shoulder even more, and um, no question, it's a big time to step up. Maroon for the throw. He scores! First point of the season for Gaudreau, and it's 2-1 Minnesota. I told Patty and, and Moose before the game, I gotta generate energy through uh, shooting the puck. That's where I'm at now. I gotta, I gotta shoot the puck and, and see what happens after. And, and Patty found me and um, just try to release it quick. And you know, sometimes those just go in. Freddie was was obviously frustrated as as anyone would be to have that one go in, and obviously the smile and, and the relief off his face. It's. It's a feeling that, that everyone loves when, when you're going through tough times. Neither team on the board in the second. With 
much needed break for both sides and a one goal advantage for Minnesota after two periods of play. All right, boys, good period there. Uh, one thing for me when you come through, the ultimate part of being a team, if we want to play fast, we want to really get our game going, we got to have short shifts, right? If, you, if you're going to play at the tempo in this league, and win and drive and play with pace and play with speed and de-join, track and reload, you got to play the right way, but you got to make sure you're leaving your teammate in a good spot. The ultimate team play is when you have good line change and you leave the next group in a good spot. Let's keep going, love the effort, let's get fast. You know, we were connected, we were fast, we were killing plays uh, fast, and we were generating offense from killing the plays. The Wild look like they're also close to getting one of those, you know, rush type, high skill goals we've been waiting for a lot this year. Long shot blocked up front by Brody. He's able to spring Boldy. I saw both the D die for it, so just tried to kind of slow down, calm myself a little bit, and then pick my spot and kind of let it go. We talked about mindset, playing with a mindset today and playing with an identity, and you guys certainly did that. That was something we can we can build off of for sure. I think it's just the way we played is, uh, you know, it's what comes out of this more than the victory itself. We're gonna go like this. We just keep chipping away at it. So I appreciate all your effort. Team that battles like that, we're gonna win a lot of hockey games and get right back in the mix fast. I, uh, it was nice to see Freddie get rewarded and see Boldy get rewarded, and it was kind of just a, a sign of relief for everyone, right? You know, trying to get everyone's confidence going. It seemed like we were all kind of on the same page, and, and it was good. Couple game pucks here, first wins. Oh! That was easy, boys. When you have a new coach in, sometimes it helps you. It helped us a lot. Then you see Freddy scored, um, Bodie scored, and it was huge for them to get like the confidence back, and especially as a team too. It's always the best feeling, you know, when you win the game. So um, it was a good feeling. Bogo's first win too. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, confidence as an individual is important, and also, also the team confidence, and uh, that's something that I was I was happy with. Uh, that some individual players were able to get going right away. That's the best confidence that a player can get us to have true success on the ice and same thing for the team. So it couldn't have worked out any better in that situation. It's about 7.45 now, so I usually go over and we'll have a coaches meeting at 9 uh, just to get ready for our pre-scouting and special teams meetings. And then we'll meet with the team about 11.15 and then just get ready for the game from there. Good evening, State of Hockey and friends, and welcome to Bridgestone Arena here in Nashville, Tennessee, where tonight the Minnesota Wild take on the league's hottest team. Just like St. Louis, our transition defense is going to be key because these guys want to, they want to be able to get up and go. You're certainly jumping on a moving train. Coming into the team is just understanding the human side of the game. I think they need to see the coach. They need to see the coach's personality. Let's dictate how this game's going to be played. They got to deal with our speed, our size, our skill, our tempo, our execution. Make these guys defend like we just worked on. It's not just me coming in and just trying to change tactics. I think a lot of it is a, a changing a belief system, an attitude, a confidence level uh, is number one priority, as well as tactics. Suitsy! Capisi! Marcy! Rosy! Big 
Gustafson made the save with his left pad. Centers do have a wrist shot. Rebound was sitting there. They score! Communicating with the players, the coaches, and the management of what particular things tactically do we need to adjust? Because there are a lot of good things that the team does. So it's really fine tuning and not overloading the players with too many different things. Kaprizov plays it across for Newer. A shot, he scores! Every day you have a better feel of different guys, the team, the rhythms of the team, and um, I think every day I get the chances to spend with them is I'm gonna understand them more and they're gonna understand me more. Predators can't clear, Letary left serve, open in front, Dewar turning with a chance on the goal back, he scores! It's a hat trick for Connor Dewar, the first of his NHL career, and it's 6-1 wild here in the third. I like our guys right now, I think that they're motivated to be able to continue to, to play, coming off of a couple good wins, building that should be rocking for us today, our guys are gonna put on another great performance and get two points. Going back to how little success Minnesota had had in this building in recent years, and they come in here and thoroughly dominate a Predator team that had won six in a row. Yeah. So this is the first one we picked the chills, right? Yeah. So it comes across, we're in good stick, we're on top, great stick, stalled puck, great stick, above, turnover, chance. I think it's important to be organized and detailed as a leader. I think that you know people need to have clear expectations of what your expectations are of them or of the team individually. If things are organized and detailed, I think it allows people to do their jobs more clearly and more effectively. Into D zone coverage versus their four check. Right, they're quick hits. Mm -hmm. So I have this at nine minutes, this at nine minutes. Yeah, he, he definitely does his homework. I, I give him a lot of assignments. And that's one of the things I really love about John is, is his attention to detail. Well, I believe in the games because a lot of the stuff you do is, it's not like read and react and practice and play. Even for the goalies, like Flowers, like they're getting plays that aren't like shot, shot, tips, rebounds, east-west plays, you know, but maybe a, like a forward and D split. Ozone. You know, like He's a very detailed coach, and uh, and that's sometimes what you need. You need a little structure, and uh, sometimes the players with that respond better. Good thing. All right, so let's, let's blast through it again. Okay. So, so one. I think that really helps the guys out on the ice. It's very, very clear on what their assignments are in in every situation. You know, I think he's got a good balance between that and giving them freedom to, to play. Keep building. Right, good work, thanks. You get down to Minnesota, they check harder. Like they're relentless to play. Like they don't take their foot off the gas, they just come. Tipped up front by Rossi, and Minnesota leads it 1 0. I want us to play faster, I want us to score more, I want us to be in the offensive zone, continue to push, continue to drive. Make sure we're killing plays down low, boys. Kill plays down low. If we do that, we're going to be able to dictate the terms of where the game is going to be played, which is going to be in their end. Get a stick. Here it is. Here it is. Rossi scores! 
Great shift, boys. Great shift. 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 It's always nice to play against um, really good players, but at the end, you're not really focusing too much on them. You're focusing about yourself, and you want to help the team as much as you can. Stay up! You guys can stay up even tighter there, D, with support. They're a young team and um, a lot of speed. Then you don't really know what you're going to expect from them, but it was important for us to play our system and um, focusing on us, and I think we did a really good job on that, and it was important to win this game. You want to fill the lane, but you're just coming back, and you can react either way. If they go D to D, then you... I want to know like, what they have to do, and I think that's really important for a coach too, to know that the players know exactly what they are doing, and um, I think he does a really good job with that. You gotta enjoy the process right now. Finally click in for everyone. I think we found it. I think we're getting better each day, practice days, and a lot of work to be done. Seconds left, the crowd appreciating the Wilds' effort here today. They started early and often, and they'll beat the Chicago Blackhawks 4-1 here today in St. Paul. The Wilds have their first three games. It tends to be that the team that makes a coaching change gets an instant boost. It feels like a different hockey team. I don't think that's a shot at Dean Evison. I think it's just that this team feels like they've got a renewed sense of belief here. I think they've responded well, you know, but we've got to, we've got to continue this. You know, so far we've got a good record under John, and that, that's great. But like I've always said, the, our expectations are high. We have to learn how to handle success better as well and just continue to play that way and expect that from ourselves. Stick to the identity, play the game the right way. Like that's what we got to continue to do. And that's, that's going to make us not just a good team, but a great team. Do you think the team has gotten it back? I do. You know, and it's something that's really tough to explain, but I think most people understand it. Hell of a job, appreciate your effort. Uh, be proud of yourselves, you're working your ass off. And it's not just in hockey, it's in other businesses, it's in life. Sometimes you lose it, but you can al always get it back. I think we're on our way to getting it back. When we do, I really like this team and I like the way the guys perform when they, when they have it.